that's pretty darn scary. What's even more scary is that California released 7,000, over 7,000 child sex offenders after less than a year in jail. Let's take a look at this here. So we got out of Los Angeles. This is KRCR out of Los Angeles. An investigation by the Daily Mail uncovered thousands of individuals convicted of severe child sex crimes in the state of California were let out of jail in less than a year. Letting these people out early were allowing for a lot more victimization. And that's terrifying. Darn right. Former LA sex crimes prosecutor Samuel Duraldin, there we go, Duraldin, told the DailyMail.com. Legislation called Megan's Law established a database to assist families across California in identifying sex offenders living near them. The database also allows users to search for offenders by name. Very great database. We also have links to all the state's databases of arrested sexual offenders on our website, protectyourchildren.org. Protectyourchildren.org. You can click on your state, put your zip code or your address in there, and see if there's any arrested sex offenders living near you or near your child's school or near the playground or near where they play baseball or soccer or football. Holy mackerel. However, according to DailyMails.com, Josh Boswell, who broke the story, the database run by the California Department of Justice does not allow users to see the data en masse. Well, of course not. I mean, you know, why would you want to let everybody just see a whole lot of information to show that you're releasing sex offenders, like over 7,000 of them, into the community? So you would want people to see that, right? I mean, come on. Boswell told Fox News Tucker Carlson Tuesday evening he had requested the data from the California DOJ. Imagine if they would refuse to give the information. What? What? Oh, but they refused to give it to him. Imagine that, forcing Boswell to develop computer code that allowed him to scrape and collect all the data for his analysis. Very smart. Boswell reported that over 7,000 sex offenders were convicted of lewd or lascivious acts when a child under 14 years of age were let out of prison the same year they were incarcerated. So the child's victimized, traumatized, potentially affected for the rest of their life, but the offender? Eh, less than a year. Less than a year in jail. Yeah. Does that work for you? During his investigation, Boswell also found that 365 individuals convicted of continuous sexual abuse of a child, 39 individuals involved in cases of sodomy with a child under 16, and three cases of kidnapping a child under 14 with the intent to commit lewd or lascivious acts. They spent 50 years in jail? 100 years in jail? No, less than a year. Less than a year in jail. One offender highlighted by Boswell was Carlos Alexander Nehu, 48, who Boswell reported was convicted of continuous sexual abuse of a child. That was in 2015. So, sure enough, he must have spent at least seven or eight years in prison, right? Nehu pled no contest to his crime and received only two days. Two days in jail plus five years of probation. Boswell was also able to determine that Nehu currently lives one block from a daycare and three blocks from the elementary school. Now, I don't know how it is in California, but I know in most states, including here in Florida, and I didn't say it like that, Florida, anybody who lives here knows the joke, we have a law that no sex offender can live within a mile of a playground daycare, or any school or place where kids congregate within a mile. So interesting that California has this freak living a block from a daycare and three blocks from an elementary school. In my days in the LA DA's office, we made every effort to get as long of a prison sentence as we could because we knew that the minute they're going to come out, they're more likely to reoffend and another child is going to get harmed. Dora Dullian told the DailyMail.com. 
The former prosecutor, who now represents victims of sex abuse, pointed a finger at California Democratic Governor Gavin Newsom for policies that promote this seemingly uneven justice. With Newsom, they passed a lot of legislation where they are allowing for resentencing. They're allowing for people to come back, and there's a push to have less time spent in prison. Dora Dulian said, That has been the push for the last five years, letting people out of prison much earlier than what their sentences were. But these types of individuals, they're not amen um, yeah, amenable to rehabilitation, and studies have shown that, he added, it's a very, very scary trend. Why? Right? You're, th you're asking the same thing that I am. Why would they be letting these people out? See, we believe that they're doing it on purpose. We think that they, that they do this on purpose. We, they want these pedophiles out on the streets. You know, back in 2020, 2021, they'd say, well, it's COVID. It's, you know, it's overcrowding. You know, but what's their excuse now? What, because they, they got probation? Is that going to keep the kids safe? Over 7,000 pedophiles released after less than a year in jail out in California, California. Beautiful California. Not so beautiful anymore, is it? We are outraged by this. If you're outraged by this, post your outrage below. Keep it clean. Try to keep it family friendly. But we have to talk about this. We have to tell others about this. You gotta share this video, share this information. People need to be aware of what the hell is going on out there in California. And we're gonna do a little research over the next week or so into other states and see if this is also happening in other states as well. But you're releasing these people out on the streets to reoffend again, and you're harming more and more children. Sounds like the Catholic Church. No offense to good Catholics out there, but you know what I'm referring to, the sex abuse scandal. This is absolutely outrageous. It's uncalled for. It should not be the case. And something needs to get done. Hmm. Watch your kids. Watch your kids carefully. Especially if you're in California. Because now you got 7,000 more sex offenders. Release that onto the streets. ProtectYourChildren.org is the website. ProtectYourChildren.org. Go there. Download the in-depth protection packet. Go over it with your kids. Everything that they need to know to be safe. Watch what your kids are doing online. Be nosy. Check their phones. Check their game systems. Check for second and third profiles on their different apps. Kids can do that because the apps do not stop it. Parents, it's a full-time job being a parent, but you got to keep an eye on your kids. If they get abused, they get kidnapped, or something worse, are you going to look back and go, well, you know, I was just too busy to keep them safe? No, you, no. Let's not go down that road. Keep them safe today. Visit protectyourchildren.org. Help us out any way you can. We want to get this kind of information, this kind of commentary, plus teaching videos, podcasts, the in-depth protection packet, everything that we do, we're trying to get out to as many people as possible. We need your help to share it, like, subscribe, tweet, retweet, rumble. Go to rumble. We have our channel on rumble. And also, if you can donate to us, we can get this out further. Advertising costs money. We can pay to advertise videos and get them out to tens of thousands of parents and children. But we need your money to do that. No one's doing it for free for us. And we're not selling any products to make money to pay for advertising. So if you can help us out, please visit protectyourchildren.org. Until next time, this is a very disgusted and angry Chris with protectyourchildren.org. Stay safe and keep protecting.